Okay, so this is just a general uh, video going through uh, how to use the bench, setting up your sample, and then taking the images on the computer. Uh, so the first thing you want to do is uh, once the enclosure is open, you can go ahead and take off the covers on the eyepieces. Uh, then you're going to take your sample and load it onto the stage holder. Uh, once you have that on there, you can go ahead and turn on the camera, which is this switch right over here. Uh, that'll take a couple seconds to warm up anyway. While you're doing that, you can go ahead and this switch here is the LED driver. You turn on that. Once you have this LED driver turned on, you then can control the power using this knob here. It'll shine down through the obstacle. You can see here, uh, the farther you turn, the brighter the intensity. Um, but for just measuring purposes, uh, just about halfway is usually a good uh, starting point. Uh, you then have this knob here, which is the module to raiser and lower. That's the Z-axis control. And you have these two with the X and Y uh, stage controllers. So then you can go ahead and, you know, fit your sample. Have it nice and focused. Once it's focused, you can either switch magnifications uh, and then refocus if you need to, or just take it on the larger scale. Um, a key aspect though, uh, right before you start imaging, there is a single handle over here that you need to pull out that'll allow the light to go to the camera. Uh, when it's in, it reflects it to the trinoculars. Uh, when you pull it out, it allows the light to go to the camera. So once that is all done, you can close the enclosure and open up the ThorCam program on the computer. Once it loads, click on the camera name and it'll open up a live window. Right now, it's set up for the default settings. So you wanna go at the settings tab uh, these are the default exposure and gain. Uh, generally, this is used for you know, a brighter image. Right now, we're going to be expecting to see almost nothing. Um, so I'll just show you the max exposure. So the max exposure you want to set is one second. Normally, you wouldn't start this high. This is just to show the max exposures. And also, the gain is at 800. You don't want to go above that. Uh, but basically, if you don't see anything at this level, you're probably not going to see anything with this equipment. Uh, just to see a general image, uh, once you take a picture, you click on the snapshot. Uh, the snapshot will then load, takes a second, and there you have this. Right now we weren't expecting to see anything, so this is a pure black negative control. Uh, but generally, if you're starting out, you would normally have an exposure of around 500 and again around 500 is a good starting place to see anything uh, and then if it's brighter you can turn the gain down or if it's uh, not as bright you can turn it up but that's generally what you'd want to do with this uh, once you have this image of course then you can save it uh, you can annotate it using these functions or you can also use uh, this horizontal or vertical line profiler which you can model how the intensity compared to the light uh, or the intensity of the light compared to the pixel number on the page. Um, obviously this is all black, so you're not gonna see any intensity line. You can see small little flutterings of background noise. Um, but yeah, so that's pretty much the procedure of going through of just setting up a sample and taking a picture. 